what does happiness look and feel like to you? So a lot of us, you know, in life, we just don't really think about this question. We don't really put our happiness as a focus. And the reason why is, you know, it's so easy for us to put our lives on hold. There's so much stresses, there's so many, so many things that we have to do that we don't really want to do. And so our focus goes on that rather than, okay, what lights me up? What kind of life do I want to live? Your happiness is so, so important because you don't want to miss out on the things that you really, really want to experience in this life. Life is too short, which means that we need to take advantage of every opportunity that we're given. Happiness is like the glue that kind of holds our life together. And if you don't have happiness, your life just kind of falls apart because it's not really what you want. It's not in line with what you want. And so having happiness just fits all the pieces together. Don't let what you want become a lost dream. You have the power in any given moment to change your life. So why not go find your happiness and start living from that place? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Sorsha and I help people get out and start and create powerful results in their life. In this video today, I'm going to be sharing with you three tips to finding your happiness so that you can start living from that place right now. You start making the life that you want happen. So the first tip is to know what you want. And if you don't, start getting excited and discover what it is that you want in your life. What lights you up? What makes you feel this euphoria energy inside? What makes you say yes in the morning or, you know, yes when, you know, things go really well and, you know, the life that you're creating is just all falling into place. So what is the vision that you see in your mind when it comes to happiness? And what does that feel like? Really just allow yourself to fully immerse into this. Let yourself go. Really allow this image to fill up the space so that you can really see what it is. So that you can take the details and start applying them to your life. All of us are given a vision for our lives and it's about becoming aware of that and seeing it, really seeing it for the first time and understanding that, okay, if I step into this and I go into this, that actually I can start living from this space. So I remember back 10, 15 years ago when I first started my spiritual journey, um, back then it was really, really difficult for me to see that vision, to, um, to feel that feeling of happiness because back then I was going through so much in my life and I was really stressed out, I was really down and I was really anxious. And for me to imagine that vision and, and that feeling of happiness, it was just difficult because you know what, I just wasn't used to it. I wasn't used to feeling good. And it was kind of like, I was more comfortable being stressed out, being anxious than being happy. But as I've been on this journey and I've embraced more of that feeling of being happier. I've gotten used to that. I've got used to understanding, okay, this is what happiness feels like and it looks like. And so it's become easier and easier for me just to step into that. So when I have those moments of, okay, I feel a bit nervous or, you know, I'm going through something in my life and I notice that, okay, I'm not really happy in this place. That's when I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, okay, now I need to find my happiness again, step back into that. Okay, it's knowing that, okay, there's a clear distinction between what feels good and what doesn't feel good. And me making the choices that allow me to move more into my happiness. And you'll find this along your journey as well. As you get used to feeling good, you'll start attracting a lot more of it. It's just making those first kind of steps and, you know, consistently doing this. Which leads me to second tip, which is to 
relax really into this, really into your life and just take that pressure off. You don't need that pressure. That pressure is, it's not, it doesn't have to be in your life. Everything that is in your life, you're choosing. So if you don't want to be stressed, if you don't want to be anxious, you can choose to let all that go and choose to focus more on relaxing through this. We're in a place in our lives where the world seems pretty crazy at this time. And there's a lot going on. There's a lot of stresses. There's so much more things to do. Our lives are busier. Things have changed. But we got to remember the important stuff. So because there's so much information, so much things that we can do, so much that we can explore, we have to focus on what's important. And that's making the choices that lead to our happiness. And part of that is relaxing into that moment. When you relax and you enjoy the ride, what you're doing is you're creating more space, more room for you to actually breathe. So when the pressure is on, it can feel like we're stuck. We're stuck in a small space where we have to do things and it's feeling uncomfortable. It's not relaxing. But when we relax, we allow the space to open up. And that's when, you know, new ideas come in. That's when you get these creative moments where you're like, oh, okay, let's do this. And, oh, if I do this, that might lead to something else. So come back to this place and realize, okay, how can I relax even more? How can I relax throughout my day? Where are the moments where I'm pushing or I'm forcing? And how can I let go of that so I can relax and just be myself? These are the sorts of questions that we want to ask ourselves because internally that will lead to more happiness. Okay, so the third tip for finding your happiness and stepping into the life that you know that you're ready for, the life that lights you up. Now this is my absolute favourite tip and this is literally all you need to do is just start over and get your day started right. So what I mean by that is I read somewhere the other day that billionaires don't get up after seven. They're always up early and it makes sense, right? Because you know what? It, when you get up in the mornings and you have a routine, what you're doing is you, you're driving more potential for success in your life and that's super important. That to me shows that, you know what, mornings are valuable and we have this great potential to make the most out of them. But what does this have to link to your happiness? Well, your happiness is about creating the life that you want to have. So the things that you want to do and experience, you can plan them, you can organise them, you can start doing them in the mornings. That vision that you have in your mind for the life that you want, this is what's going to help make that happen. Every time I've wanted to change something in my life, whether it be, you know, letting go of something that no longer serves me or, you know, create more space for things that I actually want to do and, and start experiencing, I automatically think of mornings because I know that can give me the best start. I know that I'll be successful when I get up in the mornings and I have a routine. And when you start your day right, what starts to happen is things just fall in into place a lot easier. You're more focused and you're, it's more clear and minded, but also like, I always feel a lot more relaxed because I know that actually I've set out this time, this space for me to, achieve what I want to achieve in my life. It's a proven game changer. And if you are looking for, you know, ideas to start your morning right, or you just want to get started, watch this video right here.